Take a mosquito, the Anopheles mosquito, and a parasite, Plasmodium, and what do you get? A weapon of mass destruction. Yet the situation is said to be improving. It's estimated that over 6.2 million malaria-related deaths were prevented between 2000 and 2015 thanks to major financial investments. But much remains to be done. There are five key challenges to combating malaria. Challenge number one, climate change. Longer and more intense rainy seasons are generally synonymous with an increase in cases of malaria. This may help explain the substantial malaria spikes seen in countries like the Democratic Republic of Congo and Uganda in 2014 and 15, two years during which climate event El Nino played an important role in the surge in cases in sub-Saharan Africa. Challenge number two, insecticide-resistant mosquitoes. Vector control efforts are a crucial component of malaria control strategies and include the use of insecticide-treated mosquito nets for personal protection. According to the World Health Organization, half of the population of Africa have access to them. However, they are now becoming less effective as mosquitoes become increasingly resistant to insecticides. As it is also important to implement strategies to prevent mosquitoes breeding and spreading, this year MSF launched an insecticide spraying operation in Chad in 22,000 homes in the Mosala region. Challenge number three, chemo prevention. Chemo prevention consists in distributing seasonal anti-malaria treatments to certain categories of population. This preventive treatment helps to reduce malaria by as much as 30% among pregnant women and babies. During the malaria peak, chemo prevention administered to children between the ages of three months and five years reduces cases of simple malaria by 80% and severe cases by 70%. Challenge number four, anti-malarial treatments. Used widely since the beginning of the 2000s, artemisinin-based treatments have gradually replaced now ineffective drugs, resulting in a spectacular decrease in malaria cases and improved patients' adherence to treatment. But cases of resistance to artemisinin too have begun to be documented in South America and Southeast Asia, and it's going to be at least several years before a substitute is found. Fifth and final challenge, a vaccine. An effective vaccine, the be-all and end-all to eradicating malaria, is not yet on the cards. The one vaccine currently available is of limited effectiveness against severe forms of the disease. It also requires four doses with long intervals between each one, making it almost impossible to use in the field. Only the development of an effective, affordable and easy to use vaccine will constitute significant progress in controlling one of the primary child killer diseases. Combating malaria requires rising to these challenges and adapting to different environments. A combination of patient treatment, mosquito control and chemo prevention, along with improved living conditions, has resulted in the eradication of malaria in several countries of Europe and the Americas.